Well, good morning. It is May 2nd, Sunday, and uh, man, yesterday was an exciting day with all those bee swarms and everything. I hope they're doing well out there. Um, last night was a thing. My husband is out of town, and we have a very storm anxious dog, and um, it's been raining for several days here in Texas. And I went to sleep about 10 o'clock, and then at midnight, maybe 12.30, she um, woke me up. And the only way to get her calmed down, well, really there's two ways. One is, if you get up and do stuff, like if you get up and act like it's daytime and do stuff, then she'll be okay. The other thing is, if you sleep, go to sleep in the closet with her. So I have pillows and blankets set up in the closet, half for the whole time we've lived here. And uh, anyway, so I slept with her in the closet from midnight until five. Well, yesterday was the first time I went back, as I told you, to physical, to uh, Orange Theory Fitness. And I had a really intense massage yesterday. So I'm super sore. Like I thought I was gonna have to call my son from upstairs to help me get off the floor in the closet. Oh, it hurt. And I got up at five o'clock. She was sound asleep. So I got up went to, to bed for an hour. After just a few minutes, she woke up and came out and was crying again, like wanting me to go back in the closet. But I just was not, because I knew I would not go back to sleep. And uh, anyway, I mean, it's not raining anymore, but whenever there's just instability in the atmosphere, she just like feels it. So anyway, poor girl. So last night was interesting. Now today, I am currently on my way to pick up Starbucks, and then I am working production at church. And then my goal this afternoon is to get, there's this uh, garden bench, not bench, like a work bench, like a potting bench, uh, made completely out of two by fours that I found the instructions for. And I really, really want to build that today. So I'm really hoping to get that done. I looked at the weather forecast, Looks like it's going to be cloudy, but not a really high chance of rain. So that's good. Yeah. Um, or you've got a, a lady in your life, whether she's a mom or not, or certainly if you are a... All right, I just finished at Lowe's and now I'm going to go home and start making this table. I think I should be able to get it done today. I'm really tired and I'm really sore, but hopefully that won't keep me from getting it done. Stay tuned. already discovered one thing I did wrong. I put these, they're supposed to be eight inches from the bottom. I misread that. This is very common for me. We'll address that later. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut some more and I'll put those eight inches from the bottom. I don't know. All right. All right, now we're supposed to attach the top. Man, some people love building stuff. I do not. I 
it frustrates me. I'm not good at it. I don't think things look very good that I do, but sometimes there's just something that I would like for it to exist and I don't know a better way to do it. Like this table, um, it cost me just shy of a hundred dollars and um, I have looked and looked and I could not find a table that was big enough that I felt would be sturdy enough, that would withstand the weather enough. This is just plain old two by fours and I'm gonna put stain on it. And no one will ever recognize it as a feat of superior worksmanship, but it will never fall apart. And uh, it, will be, it will be what I need. Same thing with my chicken coops. Like I built two chicken, well, three chicken coops now. And, um, uh, it cost me about $150 per coop, which is a whole lot less expensive than when you try and buy them. And uh, it's just, then uh, they work and there you go. It's just, so I don't, I don't like it, but sometimes it's just what it takes to get the job done. So anyway, hopefully I'll get it all assembled today and then I will go do the chickens and then I will rest because I'm so tired. Now all I have left to do is just state it and um, like I wouldn't even do that except that I think that it will make it last longer. I have a picnic table, you know, just the ones you buy from Lowe's in the backyard and I said, well, I'll just leave it uh, unstained and let it uh, weather naturally. And I'm not a big fan of how it looks. So if I had to do it over again, I would, I would stain it and maybe Maybe I should uh, sand it and stain it, but probably not happening. Anyway, this stain, uh, I picked it solely because the name of it was Honey. So that just seems like a natural for a beekeeper. Looks like a pretty dark stain. I don't even know how to put on stain. I'm just gonna paint it on and there we go. So as you can see, I'm a very meticulous woodworking sort of person. Sixteen out of eighteen eggs today. I have eighteen laying hens. It's very unusual to get hundred percent lay rate, but my girls usually do pretty well. These are the sixteen eggs. I got out here without a bucket today. 